O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. For all thy saints, O Lord, who strove in thee to live, who followed thee, obeyed, adored, our grateful him receive. They all in life and death, with thee their Lord in view, learn from thy Holy Spirit's breath to suffer and to do. For this thy name we bless, and humbly beg that we may follow them in holiness and live and die in thee. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours that you have shown me, Lord. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue. You know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand never laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or oh, where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the seas for the stand, even there your hand would lead me, your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. How wonderful is this knowledge of yours, that you have shown me, Lord. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. It was you who created my being, Knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret, and moulded in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw all my actions, there were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed, before one of them came into being. To me how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. Oh, search me, God, and my heart. 
O Tesbian, know my thoughts. See that I fall on the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I am the Lord who tests the mind and heart. I give each man what his conduct deserves. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. Let us give thanks to the Father, who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All things were created in him, and he holds all things in being. He who is unmarried is concerned with God's claim, asking how he is to please God. A woman who is free of wedlock, or a virgin, is concerned with the Lord's claim, intent on holiness, bodily and spiritual. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. They enter the temple of the king. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins come before the king, they sing for joy. Come, bride of Christ and receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy is name. His mercy is from age to age, on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and raises the lowly. He fills the starving wicked things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. Come, Bride of Christ, and receive the crown which the Lord has prepared for you.
Christ the Lord, praise those who follow the way of virginity for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let us proclaim his love and pray. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Christ our Lord, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her only husband. Make her pure, holy and faultless. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Christ Jesus, the holy virgins went to meet you with lamps burning bright. Keep alive the flame of fidelity in the hearts of religious women. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. Lord, you have always preserved your church in purity and soundness of faith. Grant to all Christians a faith that is true and complete. Jesus, King of Virgins, hear us. You bring joy to the lives of your faithful as they celebrate the feast of your Holy Virgin, Rose. May they also rejoice in her constant intercession. Jesus, King of Virgins, hear us. You have welcomed your Holy Virgins to the wedding feast of heaven. Invite all the dead to the feast of eternal life. Jesus, King of virgins, hear us. At the Saviour's command, and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil God our Father for love of you Saint Rose left the world and gave herself to a life of penance and austerity Help us by her prayers, so to follow the path of life on earth, that we may obtain the fullness of joy in your presence in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.